guys welcome back to my vlog if you're new here i am Haley, and i'm gonna do another weekend in the life it is a beautiful new york city evening I'm watching the sunset right now and i'm about to head over to brooklyn to go to the dior exhibit with ankita and a few of our other friends it is freezing outside so my outfit is literally going to consist of me wearing like a jacket as part of my outfit and then another jacket on top. This is like the coldest it's ever been in New York. And then tomorrow, I'm actually heading to Las Vegas, baby. I'm gonna be there the next three nights. I really need it because I've been struggling a little bit with seasonal depression. Today was fine because it was sunny. I actually got so much done because of these gorgeous clear skies. I had a really productive inflow day. I think just getting out of the city, getting out of the cold, being in the warm of Vegas, will be really good it's a long flight it's like five and a half hours but I'm just gonna get a ton of work done so I need to pack when I get home later my flight's not till tomorrow afternoon but I'm just feeling that excitement in the air mama needs it mama needs it okay so here's the fit I did the turtleneck with hoops this cute red jacket from rent the runway and then I'm gonna put a huge parka over it and then leather pants love Call it still in my bed up truck. I didn't look back, didn't give up. I got my first real kiss behind the coffee shop. Thought he was the one until we broke it off. I recall it still. Okay, that was seriously unreal. Yes. I honestly did not expect that it was gonna be so good. I was like, sure, I'll come along for the ride. It was so amazing. I've never like been interested in, we were just talking about how none of us have ever really been interested in fashion. We all had visceral reactions to these pieces of clothing and there are so many that I just felt like, I mean, I was destined to wear them in this life. They're I know, you want to like buy them off mannequins. It's like, you, it makes you want them even more that you can't buy them. I think <laughs> the glitz, the glamour and like the projected birds on the wall. Yes. Like all of it. So the glitter, the like music in the background. Yes. It was just so well done. Good morning guys! The Dior exhibit was phenomenal last night as we talked about in the car and it's now Saturday morning. I just did a workout which I'm really proud of myself for. It's really hard for me to get on the Peloton and to do it consistently and this morning I just kind of felt like it mainly because my face looked, <laughs> this is such a stupid reason, my face looked really puffy and I was just remembering how good I looked yesterday and I was like I need to sweat. I need to like have blood run to my face or something. So I got on the Peloton with the intention of doing it for like seven minutes until my food arrived because I was ordering from Bluestone, my favorite. But once I was on the bike, I was totally in the zone. So I did the whole 15 minutes and I feel amazing. I'm still in my workout clothes. Another thing was like path of least resistance by just like grabbing the closest things to me. But this is a good biker's outfit, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I have not even packed yet, but it shouldn't be that much. It's only a three night trip to Vegas. I'm looking forward to maybe booking something at the spa or just bringing some good books, doing some good um, like preparation for slingshot sessions. The other thing too is that it's a five hour, 51 minute flight. <laughs> but mama treated herself to first class for a flight that that is that's that long which i only think it's like a bigger seat and they serve lunch but you know still that's nice so i'm still trying to like mentally plot out what i'm gonna do during that time but i'll keep you posted because i love using plans to get into really really deep focus it makes the time just go on by like no one's business i ate my avocado toast but i got this good berry pot from a bluestone it's just so yummy and then this is my favorite drink of all time it's called the iced magic it's like a really strong few shots of espresso with almond milk. Oh my god, that's so good. Okay, this is wild. 
their Chanel box is coming in the Rent the Runway packages. This is not an ad, but let's open this bad boy up and see what this could be. I am attached. What is going on? Okay, also so funny. I needed to um, <laughs> I needed to call the hotel that we're staying at, the Palazzo at the Venetian. Ignore the mess behind me. So I like look up the Palazzo, I call, I like fill them in on what I'm calling about. And it's like a long spiel, like with a backstory, you know me. And they're like, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. You've reached um, the Palazzo in New Jersey. <laughs> like I think you have the wrong number. I'm too scared to look it up and see what it is. I don't really think it's a hotel because I was like asking about something that was like hotel check-in related. I think they would have like kind of thought it, you know, I was calling them if, if they were a hotel, like actually then, <laughs> but it wasn't. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay, it's just a little cream. Not as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, wait, there's a few more things. A perfume sample, and then there's a little mascara. Okay, I'll pack these up. It's definitely high time to pack. a new laptop just a few weeks ago because my other one was like going kaput and I completely forgot but I ordered a case for it and it's like this beautiful gray sparkly and then just a case on top. I haven't put it on yet and I think now is probably the time since I'm about to take it traveling. So let's do this. I'm feeling a little nervous because it's basically like a sticker you stick to it. So no pressure. <laughs> let's do this. Ooh, feels kind of like sandpaper. I actually have the same case. It's from this company called Unique Find, U-N-I-Q-F-I-N-D, on my last laptop. So I know it's really good stuff. So I click this bottom part in, and then I, oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I believe in myself. I can totally do this. Wow, hey. Okay, there's some bubbles. There are definitely some bubbles. I don't know how I was supposed to do that though. Huh? Click, 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 click. There is like a huge bubble, but you can't really tell. It's so subtle. Oh God, well that looks really bad that way. See, that looks, <laughs> the bubble is so big. It's fine. It's a lucky bubble. That's what I'm gonna, that's my last thought about it. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Vegas. I know I vlogged a few clips, so that's better than usual. I always do this thing where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna vlog the whole trip. And then when I'm on a trip, I just really need like a break from my normal life. Pause because of the stupid whistling in the background. 
And then when I'm actually on the trip, it's like, I kind of forget that I have a camera. It feels like a lot to do. So I'm glad I did a few clips. It was a really a good, fun trip. It was exactly what I needed to get out of my element. Feel way better. And coming back to New York City today, it is so sunny. Woohoo! I had housekeeping come when I was gone, so my apartment is sparkling. And today is the last day of slingshot sessions being open. So anyways, a lot of fresh new energy that just feels really good to me. It's exactly what I needed. I'm really glad I heated the call to go on the trip, even though it was a really long flight there and back, and it was only for three nights. And obviously, like, doing Vegas over dry January, slash, like, being sober curious as I am. I'm not really doing gambling. It's, like, not usually the way to do Vegas, but I strongly believe that when you're called somewhere, it's because there's some, like, energy you need to pick up there or leave there this is something that my friend Franny um, taught me or always says and I feel like that's exactly what happens like I got this energy from there something happened there was some form of like an energy exchange and I do just feel so much better with that I'm going to wrap up this vlog I'm very excited for the next vlog I'm just gonna tell you guys about it in advance because <laughs> then maybe when I post this I'll be filming my new vlog and you guys can just tell me things you want to see because slingshot sessions happen over the course of next week, like nothing motivates me more than having like a really big intense week of doing epic work. Um, I think right now we have like 300 attendees. Ticket sales don't close until tonight. So it's big, there's a lot of power there. That motivates me more than anything to really be on top of like my health, my highest vibration. And I've been kind of playing with this idea of challenging myself to work out every single day for a week. You guys know I've been having a little bit of a hard time getting on like the Peloton, but I'm just gonna do it in the most easy way possible. 15 minute low impact rides. You know, if I'm feeling really good one day, maybe I'll add on another or go for longer, but just to get into the habit of it. It's actually National Green Juice Day. Who knew? January 26th, so I'm gonna order some green juices for that. Almost like a new take on 77 Aligned, if you knew what that was. I don't know if it's gonna be a 77 day thing, but that sort of energy of like challenging myself to do something and making it as easy as possible for me to do it. So are you excited for the next one? I'm gonna turn around and start filming that. I love you guys so much. Thanks for joining me for another vlog. Sub if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon.